Good morning. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Today is Wednesday, November 25th. This is Pastor Squire at Emmanuel in St. Ansgar, and we welcome you to our morning devotions today. Having our devotions a little early today, we have Our Lady's Bible study coming up at 9 o'clock. So we're coming at you now, and we'll be looking at the last verse, verse 4 of hymn number 336 in Lutheran service book, Lo, He Comes with Clouds Descending. And we'll be hearing from uh, parts of John's Revelation, Revelation chapter 5 and Revelation 11, where we see uh, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, taking his eternal throne in front of all who are gathered. <clears throat> We'll begin today in God's name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. So the last verse of hymn number 336, verse 4, reads like this. Yea, amen, let all adore thee, high on thine eternal throne. Savior, take the power and glory, claim the kingdom as thine own. Alleluia, 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 thou shalt reign, and thou alone. As we come to the end of the church here and look to the beginning of the Advent season, we do pray uh, the prayer that the church has prayed for thousands of years, come soon, Lord Jesus, come and reign, you who are the Alpha and the Omega. We hear from Revelation chapter 5, this uh, very image, Jesus returning in glory and taking the throne as his own. <clears throat> verse, or chapter 5, starting at verse 1, And then I saw on the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And one of the elders said to me, Weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing, as though it had been slain, with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp, and golden bowls of full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and your blood, by your blood you ransomed people for God 
from every tribe and language and people and nation, and you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. And from chapter 11, starting at verse 15. <clears throat> then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who sit on the thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both great and small, and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightnings, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. So as we look forward to the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, we do so with hope and with joy, knowing that when our Lord Jesus comes, he will make all things new. So let's sing together hymn number 336, Lo, He Comes with Clouds Descending.
Come soon, Lord Jesus. We go now joyfully to our work and with the blessing of God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.